So let's go ahead and get back into more news. This one's fun. I kind of already leaked it to you all. So rumored AMD RX 6000 series desktop series uh, 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 update might bring even faster memory. So this is pretty cool. Uh, as GPU miners, these things are awesome. And yeah, so the Elgato thing going dead, by the way, is because uh, we, I just have to knock the camera back to, down to 1080. It's overheating. I'll uh, get it sorted before tomorrow's show. Anyways, I was trying to record in 4K, but it doesn't always work. All right. According to leaker Graymon55, AMD might be preparing a new version of its RX 6000 desktop series. At CES 2022, the company updated its mobile portfolio by introducing its first 6 nanometer entry-level cards. Even faster Navi 22 modes with higher TGP and a response to the NVIDIA Max-Q series. The power limited Radeon RX 6000 S series for AMD, which has had a limited presence in the laptop GPU market. Such an update was definitely impressive, but also very confusing because it introduced two entirely new product sub series within the already existing lineup. According to this new rumor, the same could happen with the RX 6000 series, where one could expect a 6 nanometer refresh of some Navi 2X GPU and possibly higher wattage models as well as cards with increased memory speed. Graymon 55 does not have any details yet, but the memory speed upgrade appears to be uh, to make the most sense considering AMD already offers cards with 18 gigabits per second. So the tweet is AMD seems to be preparing a new version of the RX 6000 series. Doesn't know the details, but probably an upgrade or maybe an upgrade to eight, 18 gigabits per second. Uh, which ones do these really impact like overall? I think it impacts almost all of the GPUs except for some high end 6900 cards. And then, of course, the new launch of the 6500 XT. So this could mean a lot, um, especially on like the RX 6600, 6600 XT, uh, across the entire board. Uh, as far as for mining, what we could see is a slight bump in, of course, the mining capabilities on traditionally uh, traditional algorithms, right? So Ethereum, etc. And we'll have to see what happens, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I want to share it with you guys. There is more Radeon news as well. Uh, the Which one was this one? Yeah, so this is one that I wanted to point out because it might be interesting, especially if we're considering mining with this at all. Now, the 6500 XT, as we talked about, kind of isn't going to be great in most traditional GPU mining rigs, right? Like we aren't going to be using it to mine Ethereum. It doesn't have enough video memory. It's probably not going to perform well on memory intensive algorithms. However, it may do well on some of the outliers such as Toncoin right now, which is super heavy on clock speed. But you want to be careful because traditionally how you build a mining rig is throwing a whole bunch of things on a single motherboard and to do that you're usually turning down the generation of the PCI slot and what it's operating at whether that be gen 1 or gen 2 and typically not even running gen 3 on these well in the case of this particular one which is going to be the 6500 XT they do have a typo here in the article though is something interesting so the 6500 XT 4GB tested on PCI Gen 4 by 8 is 49% faster on average compared to Gen 3. So apparently Hardware Unbox is investigating a potential problem with it and we'll get more information on it. But as we reported earlier, the Radeon RX 6500 XT graphics card will feature a limited PCI Express interface to four lanes. The card is based on the fourth generation of PCI Express, which means that four lanes should provide just as much bandwidth as eight lanes 
on Gen 3. Do you guys start to see the problem here though, right? So this might not immediately appear as an issue. However, for budget GPUs such as the 6500 XT, chances are that many users considering this card may still feature PCI Gen 3 systems. This is also a problem for mining because most of the mining motherboards are PCIe Gen 3 systems. And if you're going to be trying to find a specific coin that basically would take advantage of the core clock as you know you're probably going to actually need the faster pci lanes and that's because well core clock will directly translate into that so it should be noted that hardware unbox is not allowed to post their 6500 xt testing results yet due to the review embargo but they used a previous gen model such as the okay so is the 60 5500 xt to see if there's any performance bottleneck on the upcoming gen 3 interface as noted by the reviewer bandwidth issues are more likely to be expected on four gigabyte cards rather than eight gigabytes simply because some resources will be stored in the video memory memory rather than being constantly pulled from the system or storage okay interesting the 5500 xt was available in two variants featuring either four or eight gigabytes of memory which makes it perfect candidate for this type of test so they were testing this specifically it wasn't a typo sp specifically on the 5500 xt i'm presuming some they have access to the 6500 xt as well and maybe already experienced this problem and that's why they're bringing this up we'll have to see um but obviously it's going to be an issue throwing it into mining rigs in general possibly right so that's kind of where we're at amd is teasing new radeon pro graphics cards as well guys uh the pro w6400 is set to release on january 19th so mark your calendars if you want to pick one up the official AMD Radeon Pro Twitter account is teasing the upcoming announcement, or sorry, I guess the announcement will be on the 19th. Yeah, mark your calendars. Uh, for their workstation graphics cards, the teaser features a crown fitted with blue gemstones, either sapphire, tanzanite, or kyanite. It shows a new king, a uh, king of its class. Sadly, it's not the performance king, as we all have independently learned this announcement is for the upcoming navi model called the radeon pro w64 6400 it is not a high-end card but a budget workstation model based on navi 24 gpu so the least powerful member of the rdna2 family the card will challenge the nvidia t600 touring gpu considered the uh, uh, to be an entry-level workstation card for 2d modeling video editing and so on not much of a 3d rendering workhorse of course we expect more details to be available shortly before the announcement so stay tuned and here's the source i'm definitely marking it on my calendar hopefully we get more information i believe that's going to be on wednesday so i'm trying to remember if radeon w was it 6800 or something i don't know what it would be called because they're still on GDDR6 with these, right? Yeah. So, uh, probably nothing super exciting, unfortunately. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show. Every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here. Or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.